I hope our three quarter finalists are into computers because computer history is the category. Here comes the clue. IBM engineer Dave Bradley is called the father of this multi-key combination. 30 seconds. Good luck. I'm here with Dr. David Bradley, a 1971 University of Dayton graduate. Dr. Bradley was on the team that worked on the original IBM PC. So you were a pioneer in the computer industry. I'm a pioneer primarily because I'm old. That means I was around when things were a lot different than they are today. But I did get to work on the very first IBM personal computer, and that was sort of a pioneering effort. And I understand that you created the Control-Alt-Delete function. How did that creation come about? Well, it was a five-minute job in my 35-year career. It's the one thing that everybody seems to know about. But it came about because the IBM PC was brand new. We were developing new hardware, new software for the machine. It would stop, hang up all the time. We needed a quick way to turn it around and get started again so we could figure out what the problem was. And so just put that in, moved on to solve the next problem on my list. There you go. Have you ever thought about the fact that the thing you created is the thing people resort to when they're most frustrated with their computers? Well, I like to be a help in any way that I can. And so <laughs> I don't think they're mad at me when they do it. I like to think it's other people that have caused them their problems. An excellent way to think of it. And you worked with Bill Gates in your early years. Yes, I met Bill Gates when he was worth only millions. I delivered the very first IBM PC prototype to Microsoft in December of 1980, met Bill then, and worked with him quite closely during the IBM PC development on into the XT and other members of the PC family. Well, at the 20th anniversary celebration for the IBM PC, they had a panel discussion, and a bunch of industry luminaries are on the panel. Bill Gates from Microsoft, Andy Grove, CEO of Intel, Mitch Kapoor wrote Lotus 1, 2, 3, and several others. For some reason or other, I'm the IBM representative. And the first thing I'm asked is about Control-Alt-Delete. So I told the story of where Control-Alt-Delete came from, but then I decided I'm here to have fun at this event. So it was like a five-minute job in doing it. I didn't realize that I was going to create a cultural icon when I did it. <laughs> but, but, you know, I have to share the credit. I may have invented it, but I think Bill made it famous. <laughs> And Bill took it very nicely uh, afterwards. He did talk to me after that, sent me a nice letter when I retired from IBM. So I don't think he's really mad at me. <laughs> and what were the early days in the computer industry like? Well, I'm not old enough to tell you about the really early days of the computer industry. I can talk about the personal computer industry, but like any development, a lot of time spent at work, 60-hour weeks were quite common, a lot of travel between Boca Raton, Florida, and Bellevue, Washington, and I don't think there's any two places further apart in the continental United States, and I made that trip more than any other engineer. But it was a lot of fun. We were all true believers in personal computers, so we wanted to do this. This was a great opportunity. It was fun. And for an engineer, the best part was it was a blank piece of paper. We got to create it ourselves. We didn't have to follow somebody else's lead. And engineers love to be able to do their own design. Absolutely. And um, you hold seven patents. Is the Control-Alt-Delete function you're, the one you're most proud of, or does something else take the cake? Believe it or not, Control-Alt-Delete is not patented, because a system that preceded it, the System 23 Data Master, did something very similar, and so we didn't think it was novel enough. But I do hold patents related to very specific functions associated with the IBM personal computer, and those patents made hundreds of millions of dollars for the IBM company, so I think they were reasonably happy with my work. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. Bradley.